Hey everybody, it's Melissa and I'm doing a three month update video on my four millimeter 22 karat 16 inch heavy link from Jacoji. This is also known as the Hermes link as you might have heard. And I will say the past four days, I or maybe three days, three to four days, I haven't been using this as my daily wear. Now typically I do. And the reason that I haven't really been using it as much I've been watching too much of The Sopranos and been really into like thin chains lately, but I am going to throw this back on again today because I, I miss it. You know what I mean? This is definitely one of my favorite chains of all time. If and like if anything, it is my favorite chain of all time, actually, a thousand percent, because this piece, I love it, but the pendant is what I love more than the actual chain. So this is my favorite chain of all time. Now, let me weigh it out for you right here on my scale. zero it out all right here we go so this weighs at these this weighs in at 40.8 grams and i do have the other two inches like i made it into um, a ring because 18 inches was just a bit too long for me and i really like the heavy links as a choker look and i just think that they look so good and these are just to me amazing chains because they got durability and the most important part to me is the fact, well, durability is important, but I love the fact that this is a unique link that I have never seen anybody in person wear. Like I see everybody rocking rope chains, Miami Cubans, I see Figaro's a lot, even these curb chains, or uh, not curb, oh, the, uh, the flat curb, that's what I'm thinking of. But I have never seen an Hermes link, heavy link on anybody else except for me so far, all right? So I'm just gonna, you know what, let me show you the stamping on it real fast. I'll give you more up close looks on it before I uh, throw this around the neck, but you'll see the 22 karat stamping right here. Might be kind of hard to see. And Jacoji is on the other side, it's flipped the other way around. And this is a chain from Italy. This around yeah, you should see Italy on this side on your left side of the class now if you were if I were to zoom in on this clasp which it's gonna be hard for y'all to see this part but you'll see a 916 on the smartest the smart I've just been stuttering with my words today and slurring them all together, but you should see something that says 916, which stands for 91.6% gold purity, which is 22 karat. All right, it's, it's the tiny part of the clasp right there that you might be able to see it, hopefully, but here's just kind of like another close up of how the chain has held up for the past three months with heavy wear time as my daily use. Um, my daily chain, you know, so this I have been two chaining it with the Franco that you see on my neck, the 1.7 millimeter. So they rub up on each other all the time. And from a distance, you don't really see much scratches. I'm sure the closer that I show this to you guys, you might be able to see some things. But to me, the condition of it looks great. You know, I've worn this in pools, beaches, jacuzzis. I wear this in the shower. I wear it when I'm sleeping. It hardly ever comes off my neck. And the durability here is pretty much the same as my 14 karat chains, like the rope chain that I, I used to wear all the time as well. So for everybody that's questioning, oh, 22 karat's gonna be too soft, I shouldn't get it. As somebody that ha that does daily wear 22 karat, it's, it's not soft. It's not easily breakable. It's not even like, I mean, I've squeezed this chain in my hand, like it's dropped on the floor before and it didn't just shatter on me okay i feel like at least here in the united states a lot of people just have that misconception because jewelers try to tell you oh 18 is the best 14 is the best they just try to sell you on whatever they got um but i would advise that you know why don't like go search for people like on on the internet there's a lot of reviews on high purity take it from people that actually daily wear it to see how durable it actually is and i show you guys these chains like every single month so you see, you know, how they're holding up and everything. And they are seriously the same as my 14 karat. So please ignore anybody telling you that these are not 
durable enough, especially if they are a jeweler. Um, the only people that I've seen in my comment section that say things like that are the ones that have never tried 22 karat, but they're just regurgitating what they learned on the internet without any experience. So just watch out for those sort of people. Don't be swayed by not wearing the, this because of what trolls are saying or what um, some uneducated people are saying that have no experience with it, you know? So I have other videos of close-up videos of this chain on neck in the sunlight, in poor lighting, I believe. And it's just so beautiful. I'll even kind of back it up a little bit more so you guys can see what it looks like. Again, it's four millimeter. And to me, four millimeter is the perfect type of thickness when you're going for like a solitaire chain. Um, because to me, I think if it was a five millimeter heavy link, it would just look too big for me personally. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I've been really into the thinner chains. I think that I like the, the classy sort of look with those. And I feel like this four millimeter heavy link just has the right amount of pop where it's not too gaudy. You know, it's not, it's not too much of an eyesore and it's not something that's trying to flex. It's just like an effortlessly beautiful chain that absolutely has presence. You know, you're not, like when you're staring at it from a distance, you can still tell that, okay, that's not a rope chain. That's not a Cuban link. You can tell like it has its own distinction from a distance and that's the advantage of having thicker chains. Um, whereas with the thinner ones, it'd be harder to tell like with this Franco around my neck right now, if I told you that this was uh, like a micro Miami Cuban, I'm sure that like it would be believable from this sort of distance, you know, but with the heavy link, it is a bit harder. And in terms of comfortability, this thing, it just becomes, it disappears on my neck in a sense that I completely forget that I have it on. It's not constantly reminding me that it's there by, you know, pinching the hair on the back of my head. It's not, it's not being, I don't know, it's not being obnoxious to a point where I'm uncomfortable with it on. You know, this thing just rolls around my neck with whatever I'm doing. I could be exercising, I could be working out, I could be swimming, and it stays with me the whole time, okay? So that's a reason I love heavy links and the rounder chains is just because they keep up with you in that sort of way. And as I've advised in my previous videos with the heavy link, if you're somebody that likes to lift Let's say you got the barbell and your your pumping iron, whatever whatever it is that you guys call it, right? And you have a longer heavy link, and the barbell is constantly coming down on your chain. Maybe that might be an issue, but like I've said, I prefer it higher up on the neck. And y'all aren't going to be bench pressing where your neck area is. You know, you're going to be doing it a lot lower. So unless you're rocking maybe a 28, 26 millimeter, like in millimeter, 26 inch, then I really don't think you have to worry about it. Of course, if you want to take it off for that type of workout session, you can. But man, I love this. I'm looking at it in the mirror on the other side right here. And it's just, it's so nice. I've gotten so many compliments on this chain. And even for me, I'm sure y'all feel the same way when you walk past like a mirror and you got that gold on your neck. You kind of take a little bit of a glance, see how it is. And this is, it's just never let me down, you know? And on top of that, what I love like the most with this chain is the fact that I never have to worry about it tangling with my other piece. Now, before this heavy link came along, I have this, I had, I still have it, this Rolo link from, wow, that scared me. That's <laughs> a kid from the neighborhood. I had this Rolo link from Monet. So it's a solid 24 karat, uh, they call it a cable chain, right? It kind of looks like the heavy link, but more, more circular, right? Very dainty chain. And I would wear it with this Franco, but I hated having to just readjust it because the two would tangle into each other and I would have to keep fixing it because that chain is light. So that Rolo link at 16 inches was around six grams, whereas this here is over 40 grams or 40.8 grams. So it's, I am not worried about it tangling up. They've never tangled up before because this has weight to it. And on top of that, this Franco here also has weight because of the pendant. But overall, still an amazing chain. I know I said in the beginning of this video that I haven't worn it um, for the past three to four days because I've been liking the thin chain look. But now that I got it on, I'm not going to take it off because I love this thing. You know, so high purity 22 karat, totally fine three months later. It's been absolutely perfect. I'm going to keep doing these update videos for you guys for months and years to come because 
I haven't really seen many people be consistent with the update videos on high purity. I see it a lot with the lower purity, like 10 karat, 14 karat. Um, and I always have to disclose this in my videos because there's a lot of high purity snobs out here. There's always people that are like, you know, they'll be commenting or telling other people that are wearing 10 or 14 that, oh, you're not wearing real gold and they have this pretentious sort of attitude. This is not the channel for that, all right? Please buy what you can afford and don't feel ashamed about it. Like if you have a 10 karat rope chain on right now and you love it, that should be all that matters. Ignore the douchebag in your comment section that's gonna tell you, oh, like that's only 41%, that's fake. You're not wearing anything real. Like, cause there's always gonna be that sort of obnoxiousness, you know, but I'm not here like trying to eye what everybody else has and try to make them feel less for wearing lower purity. I think that's kind of stupid, not kind of stupid. It is stupid, you know, so. If you do have the ability and 22 karat is in your wheelhouse and you're liking the way that it pops um, and then, you know, if it suits your skin tone as well, that's another thing. I feel like with 22 karat, I feel like it's, it better suits me over silver, over um, lower purity. I still like the way that it looks, like lower purity looks on me, but I just have a certain preference to the rich gold with my warmer skin tone. So that's also something that people take into effect, um, take into account, not effect as well all right so rock what you like with pride with happiness ignore what other people are saying if they're trying to tell you that what you're wearing isn't real enough and like just just let those people comment i'm pretty sure they have they're probably having like faceless profile pictures all right so it's all about positivity here wear what you like and again this chain baller i love it i love this piece right here all right i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you in the next video take care bye